Hello, welcome to the A to Z of Nez. I am recording this for the second time because I forgot to plug my microphone in, which was hilariously clever, but it means I have to now sit through this bullshit again. It's the adventures of Lolo Part 3. I, I am eating pizza, so I don't know if I'm going to be very talkative, because it is really, really nice. I've got to eat hot, haven't you? I'm going to be right hot. Oh, yeah. I've added a map to this game. <sighs> Which adds a bit of variation, I suppose. But still, the colours are just horrendous. Who came up with the colours? I am going to hazard a guess and say that this is ported from a Game Boy game because it's got that monochrome look to it. And Lolo himself is blue. Quite a nice shade of blue, but the character is simple. And they can do much better on the NES, so I am seriously considering that this is a port from a Game Boy game. Um, mm, pizza. Anyone want a slice of pizza? Yeah? Well, let's come and get it. More than welcome, come get it. It's very lovely. Mmm, nom 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 nom. If I don't eat it all, of course. Mmm, lovely. Mmm. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Oh, that fucking bastard. It's so patronizing. It's like, oh, mm, it wasn't so hard. So, there's three games, there's the Adventures of Lolo, and the Adventures of Lolo 2 and 3. And if you like one of these games, you're going to like the other two, but seriously, if you like even one of these games, you're demented. The game itself isn't that bad, it's quite a fun puzzler really, but I don't know how many levels there are, but they're just too many. So they've made them... Oh, I just don't know. I just, uh, you can't even stand on the eggs for too long. You it's just crap. There's just no effort gone into it. They just thought, right, we've got one game. We'll make a sequel. And then they thought, okay, ten people have bought that. Sod it, let's make a third one. And let's just put no effort into it. Okay, we'll add a map. That'll fool them. So they've got added this map. And they've added this sort of level structure. But it's just still, it's the same old crap. Thankfully the levels so far look a little bit different, although the grid is fairly boring and there's no effort for that. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that, well, this is the second time I've had to record this, so I know for a fact that the levels are going to look incredibly similar any second now. I've done like the training bit. Get us. Ah, just having a drink. Uh, what bit more pizza? Right, we want more food. I don't think I've got to find level 1. I think it's up here. Ah, uh, there's level 1. Hi, la la. Oh, thank God's sake. So this looks like the levels from the first and the second game. When they just change something, just change the colours, something, anything. Change the layout, change the design. Just change something. It's just the same exact sprites used for all three games. They just churn them out over and over again. It's just so lazy. This could have been fun. And the music is just so boring. How long does it take to make, like, just three pieces of music, not just one fucking thing over and over? It's ridiculous. I hate this game. I fell off the play it. I fell off the look at it. When this video's done, I'm never playing these games again. Unless there's a bloody Game Boy version. Oh, no. I hadn't thought about that. I'm pretty sure there's a Game Boy version. I'm going to kill myself. And we end up getting an original Game Boy and smashing it over my head. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, this was lovely, by the way. I've had enough of this now. I'm not going to play that for. Do it for this level. See how it goes. Oh, God. It's just not fair sometimes. You just don't have a chance. You have to, I hate games like that, but you have to learn the level. I mean, you can't just go in there and maybe bash through it first time. You're gonna die, at least. Well, whatever. Anyway, that's tuned in. See you next time. Don't play this crap.